Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be all about my number one product from five of my favorite brands. It was so hard to choose one product, but it was also hard to choose five brands. So I chose brands that I talk about a lot on my channel and just brands that make really great products in general. And then I narrowed it down to my favorite product. If you guys wanna see a drugstore version of this video, let me know because the majority of the brands that I'm talking about in today's video are more high-end brands. So I can definitely film part two, but I'm also excited because because today's video is a group collab. So I don't think I've ever done a group collab on my channel, but I'm filming this video with four other people here on YouTube, and I am so excited to see their choices. I'm going to link all of their videos in the description box below, but if you guys are not subscribed to these channels, I think you will enjoy them so much. So the first person is Stephanie Marie. I really enjoy her videos. I feel like she has a very calming presence. So whenever I'm stressed out or I feel like I need to relax, I love watching her videos because she's very knowledgeable about makeup. I feel like she really thoroughly test products out before she recommends them on her channel, but she gives really good recommendations for both drugstore and high-end products, and she just knows what she's talking about. So I always love watching her videos to see which products she's enjoying and which ones she recommends. So I recently discovered Risa from Risa Does Makeup, and I've been enjoying her videos so much. I just watched a bunch of them the other day right in a row, and what I love about her channel is that she does focus on drugstore and high-end as well, but she also has videos on her channel where she talks about technique, and I feel like that can be hard to find these days. So she gives really good tips and tricks on how to use your products and how to apply them in a flattering way. And again, I feel like she just knows what she's talking about, both when it comes to products and application. So I have been enjoying her so much lately. You guys know that I love Samantha March. She is one of my favorites. I love her video ideas. She is so creative. And what I love about her videos is that it feels like you're sitting down and talking to a friend. She's just very easygoing. And I feel like if you were to meet her in real life, she would be the exact same way that she is on camera and I just enjoy her so much. She recently did a collab with Ofra and the products are amazing. I've been loving them so much. I know I've been raving about them on my channel, but I know you guys will love her channel as well. And then I recently found Jennifer from Jennifer Joyce Beauty and she is so much fun to watch. She has great energy. She has a really fun personality. And when I click on her videos, I feel like I'm in a better mood. She does focus a lot on skincare. And I know a lot of you guys are not necessarily focused on makeup right now, but you're kind of looking to try skincare products that work well for you and just take really great care of your skin. So if that is you, I think you will enjoy her videos. She does give product recommendations, but she also talks about techniques and things that work well for her. So again, I'm going to list all of their videos in the description box below. I think you guys will enjoy every single one of them. They're all gorgeous and kind and I've enjoyed their videos so much. So I can't wait to see which products they choose and which brands they choose to focus on as well. But let's jump into it and I'll kick it off with Natasha Denona. So I know Natasha Denona is really well known for her eyeshadow palettes and I have tried a couple. I've tried a few of her super small mini palettes and then I do own Sunrise and Love and they are two of my favorites. I do enjoy the formula but I have to say that my favorite product from the brand that I've tried would have to be the Bloom Blush and Glow palette. I picked this up last spring and I wasn't sure if I was going to buy it at first because I'm not somebody who wears a ton of cream products and this palette does come with two cream products and two powder products, but I have enjoyed this so much. It was definitely a staple for me last spring and summer and now that we are in spring and heading into summer very soon, it's been a staple for me again. It just gives your skin the most gorgeous glowy look, whether you go in with the cream product or the powder products. I'm somebody who does love a good shimmery blush, so I love the coral shade, the highlighter is beautiful, but the cream products are very easy to work with, and this is coming from somebody who has a hard time with cream products. I'll either take my fingers and just blend them directly onto my cheeks, or I'll take a damp sponge and kind of stamp them, and they work perfectly. I love the fact that you get four different options in one palette, and I love all four of the shades that you do get, so this would have to be my favorite product from the brand. One of my favorite brands is definitely Hourglass. Their products are a little bit more expensive, but what I love about Hourglass is that they don't release products back to back. They're not focused on releasing new things every single week, so I really feel like their new releases are very well thought out. The quality is gorgeous, the formulas are so beautiful, and I very rarely try a product from Hourglass that I don't love. So for today's video, I almost mentioned the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes, which I love so much. The formula is so gorgeous. They're very, very subtle, but they give your skin the most gorgeous, healthy, natural glow. And I, like I said, I almost mentioned those, but there's one product that I think I like just a little bit better, and that would have to be their ambient lighting powder. So I do have a couple of these, but my main 
powder is Diffuse Light. I recently picked up one of their palettes and I have been enjoying that. The shade Diffuse Light kind of works as the highlighting powder for me. So after I do my base makeup and even my bronzer and my blush, I'll take this product and just lightly dust it under the eyes, maybe like in the center of the forehead, the chin, anywhere where I want to add a little extra light and brightness to the skin. And this powder just gives your skin like this gorgeous, smooth, blurred effect. It's almost like you're taking an Instagram filter and applying it to your face. And I struggle with texture and breakouts. My skin is not the most smooth or the most even. So I love a product that can just kind of smooth over everything and give me more of a soft finish. And then like I said, I recently picked up the Ambient Lighting Palette. This comes with three shades, Dim Light, Incandescent Light, and Radiant Light. And I've only had this for a couple of weeks, but the formula just performs just like my favorite powder in Diffuse Light. And I love having a variety of shades because I'll use them for different purposes. I might blend out my bronzer. I might kind of smooth over my blush. It's a subtle product that makes a big difference. And I feel like I could live without the blushes because there are other blush formulas that I like, but I've never tried a finishing powder that I like as much as these. So this would have to be my number one product from Hourglass. My favorite makeup brand is ColourPop. I don't think that's any secret if you watch my videos. I just feel like they have something for everyone. Whether you're into more simple makeup or smoky makeup, whether you like like colorful tones or neutrals, no matter what skin type you have, your skin tone, your preferences, they will have something that works well for you at an affordable price point. So it's hard to narrow it down, but I think that my favorite product they make would have to be their eyeshadow palettes. I think their formula is great. I have so many of them because they're just very blendable and easy to work with. And again, they have so many options. So it was hard to narrow it down to my absolute favorite. Of course, I love It's My Pleasure. I talk about that one all the time because it has some gorgeous pinks and purples. But I think when it comes down to it, there is one that's kind of topped that, and that is the ColourPop Going Coconuts palette. I believe they released this at the end of last year and it's become such a staple of mine. I use this every single week, multiple times a week because it is the perfect little neutral palette. It's not overly warm toned or overly cool toned and you get the perfect shades, whether you want to do something really soft and natural or something a little bit more deep and smoky, I can get whatever type of look I want out of this, other than colorful, obviously. Because these shadows are not overly warm toned, it goes great with greens and blues and purple and you can also use it with warm tones as well. I just enjoy using it so much. The formula is perfect. The colors are great. I think that I've almost hit pan on a couple of these shadows because I use it so often. And when it comes down to it, this is my most used and my most loved ColourPop product of all time. So this would have to be my number one favorite. So I did choose Fenty as one of the brands in today's video because I enjoy a lot of their products. I would say a couple of their products are staples for me and they have created some products that I haven't loved, but overall I think the quality tends to be great. I love the fact that they are so inclusive. And as far as high-end brands go, I don't feel like their products are quite as expensive as some of the other brands. I'm cheating a little bit with this one, but I actually chose a set that comes with two products. It is available on Sephora's website and Fenty's website, and that would be the Bomb Baby Mini Lip and Cheek Set. Now, I don't actually have it with me because I did use up the lip gloss completely and then I shattered the highlighter unfortunately but I think I will end up repurchasing that set very soon because I loved it. What I love about this set is that it allows you to try out two of their products and two of their best products in my opinion. The gloss bombs are probably my number one product from Fenty so I would recommend those you know, on their own. They have a few shades to choose from and I just love the fact that the formula is so glossy and intense and there's just something about it that makes your lips look so full and plump, but it's not a sticky formula. It's perfect in my opinion. I love the fact that it smells like strawberries and they have been releasing additional shades, which is great. So I guess technically that would be my number one product, but the fact that this set comes with a mini gloss and a mini highlighter is perfect because you get the chance to try both of them out. And the highlighter formula is really nice. It's just very blendable and smooth. The gold shade is perfect. It's so beautiful. I wish I had it to share with you guys in today's video, but I'll include a picture on the screen. The last brand I wanted to touch on in today's video is Anastasia Beverly Hills. They make the most gorgeous palettes. So I did choose a palette. I almost chose the Brow Wiz because I've repurchased the Brow Wiz so many times, 
But I do think there's one product that I like a little bit more. And again, if you guys watch my videos, you probably know what I'm going to say, but I can't help it. I have to mention it. And it is available for a discounted price right now. So I don't know if they're discontinuing it or, you know, they're just offering it for a discounted price. But if you haven't gotten your hands on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Ina palette and it appeals to you, now might be a great time because you can get it for a discount. I think it's like $31.50 on Anastasia's website. You know what? They probably are discontinuing this palette because it's not available on Sephora's website or Ulta's website and I think it was limited edition when they initially released it and it's been out for maybe close to a year at this point. So unfortunately I don't think it's going to be available much longer but it is worth every single penny in my opinion. This palette is so gorgeous. I think all of Anastasia's palettes tend to be very blendable and a little bit more easy to work with but what's different about this one is that the shadows are so rich and when it comes to rich intense shadows like this like purple and pinks they're a little bit more difficult to blend out from other brands so if I want to do a really vibrant purple look or a really vibrant pink look I know it's going to take me a little bit longer so I have to have the time but that's not the case with this palette these shadows are really easy to work with for how vibrant they are and you can get so many gorgeous complete looks using this whether you're going for a more colorful look a more neutral look I just love everything about this palette it's my favorite so those are all of the brands and products I wanted to mention in today's video it was so hard to narrow it down to five brands so if if you want to see part two, let me know and I can focus on drugstore and affordable brands. But those are my number one products. Let me know what your number one products from these brands or your favorite brands are in the comment section below. I think it will be really interesting to read your responses and I can't wait to check out the other videos. Make sure you guys check out their channels. I'll link them below. I'm sure you guys will love them as much as I do. They're all amazing people. I love finding good channels here on YouTube, so I'm sure you guys will enjoy them. But I'll see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye.